Welcome back everybody, today I'm with Yelby and I am checking out all the new blocks in uh, StarMade.1617 As you can see we've set up a little home base here, it's got a shop, it's got a build block It's got an automatic gravity, I have a shuttle which Yelby is modelling right now so. And we also have a Plex Undetonator which I'm going to use um, I just wanted to show off these new, they're not really new but these are the textures for the docking enhancers. Probably the reason I haven't seen them is because we have docking restrictions turned off on our server. But to focus of this, as you can see, all around me, I'm surrounded by new stuff. Some of it you may have seen, some of it you probably haven't seen. But I'm hoping that there's at least a few things in here which are brand new in 1617 and a couple of things that have just finally had their uh, textures put on. So. Yelby has very helpfully put all the names into every sign you're going to look at tonight. So yeah, legend. Um, first thing here you're going to notice is that. That's actually a black light. And that's what's giving us this nice purple look here. All I've used is a grey hull and grey hardened hull for the floor. So that's simple. Now, let's get on to the main event. This is orange hull. Now you may already know about Orange Hull and of course it does come in a hardened version but a lot of people might not have noticed that StarMade actually has an extra colour so that is the Orange Hull. I know it didn't come in this version but it was relatively recent so depending on how long it's been that's Orange Hull. Now see this here? This is Plex Glass. Now you probably already knew that it already came in all of the different uh, shapes but once we get to the outer ring, you're going to see something to do with the glass, which is uh, going to be very interesting. So I just wanted to show you, this is the normal glass. So all the other glass that you're going to see isn't the normal glass. Okay. Obviously, Plex Lifter. And at the top, we have something called a Charged Crystal Circuit. And we're going to get and see the full set of those in just a minute. So... Uh, you're already familiar with logic, so we don't need to look at that. This is a storage area, okay, and uh, there's this little pole here, which you might have noticed is glowing blue. We're going to get into those as well. There is a full set to show. Okay, so let's start at the crystal circuit here. So that's the charged crystal circuit. We already had a look at that one a second ago. Basically, that is an emissive. It's an emissive block. It's slightly transparent and it's quite a high-end item. Well, it's not really, but it's, you know, it's not a base tier. You have to make it out of stuff that's made out of stuff. <laughs> Here's the macro assembler. This is used for producing your end tier items. If I push R on it and click change production, I can type in here core, hit the drop down list. Oh look, ship core. What do I need to make a ship core? Click the graph. I need metal grills and crystal circuits. How do I make metal grills? Metal mesh. How do I make crystal circuits and metal mesh? Well, you need a micro assembler for that. And the micro assembler is just here. You put into the micro assembler uh, capsules. It'll turn crystals into crystal circuit and ores into metal meshes. Nice and simple. If you use the capsule refinery, just chuck all your ore and shards in here and it'll make them faster than the personal uh, capsule refining space which is uh, accessible through I so if you go to your inventory go to craft capsule you can put your ore shards or your ores and your shards in here and they'll make capsules for you there is also a micro assembler for making mesh and crystal circuits but obviously the personal refining is slower than if you were to use these blocks they do need power and currently you can only use them on stations so this is the replacement for the factory system you've been using it in survival lately i would hope and like i say it's it's an awesome system it can be chained so if i hit the end of the chain and pick the beginning something before it before it there we go and it'll link them up you just have to do it the opposite way around than with logic. It's the easiest way to explain it. Okay, so that is the factories dealt with. So that was a super fast tutorial, guys. You also have the ability to use 
factory enhancers just like in the old factory system and that will include everything okay um, so that you know it's going to make it go faster basically for more more power uh, more output but you will have to put the uh, requirements inside you know so moving on we've got the crystal circuit crystal circuit and crystal circuit wedge these are obviously made using the ore shards so that uh, sorry the crystal shards that are turned into crystal capsules and then turned into crystal circuits you can then wedge them so there you go wedges okay so next what we've got here is the baston imbued circuit so you can take your circuit you can craft into it some more crystal you can end up with baston imbued next tier up baston storage node the storage node does um, emit light but the baston active processor at the top there that one seems to be the brightest and also it has this lovely sort of animation flashy blinkiness which is awesome so those are your three and all of the ones we're going to show now they are imbued circuit storage node and baston processor by name of the crystal which is used to make them so here is the active Matisse processor imbued circuit and storage node again it's obviously in red and then we have the next one which is Verat so Verat so you got your blue crystal again in active storage and imbued and now we're gonna go this way there we go so this one is Parson so Parson again white color so you've got to put your Parson crystal inside this crafting recipe to get the Parson imbued circuit storage node and, act and active processor next one you guessed it it's yellow with Hattel so yeah you can see the pattern emerge we also have orange for Cynthia and then we have purple with the Ramit uh, we also have Nox in last place with a kind of grey but it's not it's kind of purple it's between Ramit and the next one which is obviously this charged one which is just grey silver so yeah there you have it active there we go so I think we've pretty much covered all of the inner ring stuff now so we've covered the factory so I'm going to move over here now these are currently the direct decorative blocks you're used to seeing these these three I think were the originals and so this one here is uh, let's see right shift everybody right shift and it will show you what it is so decorative panel four so those are the original set that everyone's used to this next one here we've got our hazard stripes okay uh, in yellow and black and white and green obviously those have been in for a while now but like I say it's not everybody knows because people miss updates and they don't notice all this new stuff in the shops so here we have the metal grill I think is that the grill and the other ones the mesh I always get them mixed up yeah this one's the mesh I always get them mixed up so this one's the metal mesh and metal mesh wedge this one here is the metal grill and the uh, metal grill wedge nice so there we have the medical cabinet or medical supplies sorry this one's supplies Oh wow, look at that, it's got a little uh, first aid kit and stuff now. I never noticed that. And then that is the cabinet. Uh, next we have decorative screens in all the different colors. So let's see, where's the best side to show it? There we go. So we've got all the different colors. These are all decorative panels, decorative screens. Oh wow, this one's got writing on it now. What's that say? meet in space dear something Dave says at the bottom anyway you've got mail I like it and then finally the Cambot display much Yelby <laughs> so we've got the Cambot display module so these are your displays you uh, push R I've done a video on this which has all the code but as you can see this is your formatting code okay and 
There are also properties you can quote, shield, shield capacity, power, and power capacity. So it'll update on the screen. So that's pretty awesome. So let's have a look at the ores, shall we? This here is Certees. So we've got Certees ore, Nacht ore, Parston ore, Threns ore, Zakana ore, Jisper ore, Fertikin ore, and Hital ore ingots. So those are all the ingots and on top of them are the corresponding capsules. The capsules don't emit light and of course they come in all eight colours. So there you go. What more could you possibly want from your ore blocks? All the colours? Hell yes. So moving on to the next bit. Some of these haven't been, you know, like I say, not everybody has seen all of these. Some of these can be used passively as defensive items, or you can use them in combination with your primary and secondary combo on your weapon systems. So, piercing, okay, explosive effect, lovely computer there, yeah. EMP, with the EMP graphic, it's brilliant. Punch through. Stop effect, push effect, pull effect, you can guess what stop, push and pull do and you would be right. Ion effect, now this one actually is more effective against shields and less effective against hull. And overdrive, now overdrive is, make sure, uh, let me just get this straight, I think it's double the damage for three times the power? Is that right? I really don't I'll have know. To check on, I'll have to check on that. All I know is that you make a small gun with overdrive, it's really powerful, needs a lot of power. So it's all about miniaturization. It's not a good thing for a big ship because you'd be better off just making a really big gun. Um, also it can be used passively to break the top speed limit on a server. I would like to take the moment just to mention that the EMP effect, where is it? But mind you, passive effects are subject to change, so I'm not going to linger on that for too long. Okay, so here we have our crystals, guys. And on top, the corresponding crystal capsules. So, Ramit Crystal, Nox Crystal, Parson Crystal, Hatel Crystal, Matisse Crystal, and Sinter Crystal. Don't forget Bastin Crystal and Verac Crystal. So there we go. And they look beautiful. And yes, they do emit light. And as you can see, they look they look beautiful. I mean, you know, it's just that everything's looking really shiny. Now over here we got paint buckets, and I know that they don't really look that impressive and all, but hey, you know, they're new, so paint buckets yeah you know they don't emit light I had to light them up with some uh, capsules but that's that okay now I have been holding out on you a little bit and I'm gonna hold out on you a little longer so we're gonna head around the same way past the crystals this is all the terrain it's not gonna be named I'm just gonna go past it so these are the new terrain blocks okay some of them will be familiar to you, others will not. Either way, they all look pretty awesome. I, you can guess what these ones are. These ones are pretty obvious. Don't stand on that one. Let's see. Now, there's something that we didn't do. I don't... Did we go and... Ah, yeah, of course. These are all the new asteroid rocks, aren't they? I think they are, aren't they? Uh, I think so. Uh, I think so. Hmm. So, basically, we've got Larimar and Larimar in Carved and also in capsule form, okay? So on the left is the raw, on the right is the carved, at the top is the capsule. So there we go, Chabaz is the next one. And Lucra is next. And Dolum. Sujil. Cinnabar. And Varus. Don't forget Tect. And I just want to have another really nice look. Look at these textures. As 
have another look at them. It's looking really shiny now, guys. Okay. Another quick look down here. Right. Now, I've been holding that on you guys because these are the new glass shapes. So we've got new glass shapes. This is actually white glass, okay? So obviously in all five shapes, and we've got it in white. I think this one is red. Yep, red glass. I just don't remember the order, guys. And sometimes red and yellow, they're kind of samey. Orange, <laughs> okay? So red, orange, I think this one's green, yes. or yellow. Yellow, I'm colorblind today. This one must be green. Yeah, it is green. Oh, good. <laughs> We've got blue, purple, and then we're into even more stuff. White lights you knew about. Red lights you knew about. Blue lights you knew about. Green lights. Yeah, you knew about them too. Yellow lights, okay, they're not new. But, purple lights. Come on. Oh, also orange lights and uh, black lights. No, that's unfair, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, orange lights too, guys. Orange lights are in, and the black light. The black light's pretty awesome. If you look, it kind of is an ultraviolet light. I like it. It's not really, but it is. For the purposes of, because look at look at the green, look at the grey, the grey goes purple. <gasps> so, I think have we missed anything? Because I know there was a lot of stuff here. Uh, I think I that think, was everything. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I completely forgot. Right, see this here? These are the best things ever. You can walk through them, and they provide light. Slick and licking. Do they not? Oh. No. Okay, right. Well, what we've got is we've got a yellow. What is that yellow? Confirm yellow. Yeah. Uh, can you not? Yellow. Can you? Can you not break? Can you not break my lights, please? Excuse me. Stop breaking my lights. <laughs> okay. So that one is yellow. Is this white or a beacon? White. White. Okay. That one's white. What's this one? Black. Black. Are you sure? Yes, Are you it sure? Says it right there. It's black. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one's black. Okay, right. Black, red, yellow, white, green, blue. Wait, this one's orange. Wait, what? Oh, this sorry. One's this one's this one's orange. Orange. Okay. Uh, is this white or a beacon? Beacon as a beacon. It will be a beacon, it's just not in the game yet, but the blocks there are ready and waiting. So, green, blue, and uh, oh yeah, you know it. It's purple, 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 purple. Even though I broke it. Much. Yeah, I broke it. Ah! His, he had his lightsaber out. <laughs> right, okay, so there it is. And this is the real end now. So thanks for...